Hi, everyone. Excited to be here. My name is Yuan Tan. I'm one of the principal engineers at Red Hat, working on our hybrid cloud AI platform. I'm also on the leadership team on multiple open source projects, for example, Argo, KServe, Kubeflow, and Kubernetes working group serving. Today, I'm going to share about our journey to cloud native AI. I'll showcase some of our community driven efforts and share how we collaborate in the open um, ecosystem. First, what's our commitment to open source? Red Hat AI is built, um, is 100% open source. We use, contribute, and maintain the tools that we depend on. We built our core AI products, Red Hat OpenShift AI and Red Hat Enterprise Linux AI using 100% open source tooling. Let me share a little bit about our open source AI journey. Before 2021, we were repackaging a lot of upstream projects, and then we started contributing to upstream code base and getting involved in leadership activities. Since early this year, we've proven to be a leader in the cloud native AI uh, community. For example, we've become a steering committee for Kubeflow community and a co-chair for Kubernetes working group serving, and also become maintainer for KServe, Feast, and Kubeflow pipelines. We also open sourced Instruct Lab and the Model Registry, which I'll talk about in more details. So we've been contributing to a lot of open source projects in this cloud native and AI ecosystem, and they all became core components of our Red Hat AI platform. Let me share, uh, share some of the highlights on our open source contributions. We open sourced the Instruct Lab project. It's a framework to fine tune large language models on your own data set for your specific use cases in an accessible and cost efficient way. And it's open, open source. We, together with IBM, we also open source the Granite family of large language models uh, designed for enterprise tasks, all licensed under our Apache 2. KServe is a model inference platform on Kubernetes um, that's highly scalable, standard, and cloud agnostic. One of its core features is the model car feature in KSO. It streamlines the model pooling process from OCI model registry um, and enables more efficient auto scaling. And KSO model mesh provides a routing layer that's designed for high scale, high density, and high frequently changing model use cases. The LRM instance gateway is a project from working group serving that provides a production grade and a more efficient way of serving multiple use cases on a shared pool of hardware accelerators. We also open source the model registry project. It uh, is donated to Kubeflow. And uh, model registry provides a central way to view, manage, and track your models and their associated metadata throughout the ma uh, machine learning and AI lifecycle. Model Registry uploads the models, and KSERV can pull the models directly from Model Registry and start serving the models quickly using one of the supported serving runtimes in KSERV. We also open sourced uh, Trusty AI project uh, to enable safer model usage. Its core features include drift and bias detection, LLM evaluation, and guardware capabilities. Let me share about our collaborative approach in this cloud native AI uh, ecosystem. We've successfully mentored eight students through Google Sum of Code in Kubeflow. And we've been collaborating with a lot of uh, community contributors, maintainers, and corporate partners to continuously improve the ecosystem. KSERV and the Kubernetes working group serving are two examples. We've grown the communities to be more than 250 contributors and members in each of these communities. And feel free to check out our KubeCon talks for these two communities to learn more about these collaborative efforts. Besides that, we've also been listening to feedback from end users and adopters through community surveys and community meetings, contributors meetings, and other interactions. One good news is that Kubeflow and KSERV end users will be featured at the keynotes uh, in this week. So definitely something you don't want to miss. Last but not least, join our collaboration and explore opportunities with us to contribute to, to this critical ecosystem. And feel free to reach out if you ever need any pointers on how to get started contributing. Thank you.